inside your body right now, white blood cells are moving through your tissues on the hunt for pathogens. But this cell is in a Petri dish in a lab in Austria, where researchers have been putting white blood cells through a variety of obstacle courses. These experiments are designed to reveal the secrets of their impressively fast locomotion. And understanding how these immune cells speed through the body could help reveal how cancer cells move and spread. These neutrophils are racing through a maze. They're attracted to a chemical at the other end, and by sensing the chemical gradient, they can pick the shortest path. But the inside of your body isn't like a maze with a choice of uniform pathways. Instead, immune cells need to be able to squeeze through gaps between tissue cells and pick the best route. In a new experiment, this dendritic cell is given a choice of four paths of different widths. It probes the different options before picking the widest path, allowing it to move faster than it could through a narrower channel. This ability to sense the size of gaps means that cells moving through the body can avoid dense areas and find the fastest routes rather than just the shortest ones. When trying out different options, these cells position the big bulky nucleus near the front. If the nucleus fits, the rest of the cell will too. This ensures the nucleus doesn't get damaged squeezing through too narrow a gap. Once the cell has decided on a path, the other protruding probes are retracted using a kind of internal cellular skeleton made of microtubules. If these microtubules are disrupted so that they can't retract, as has been done here, the cell will pull itself apart. Cancer researchers are particularly interested in understanding the mechanisms of immune cell locomotion. Tumour cells may activate these same systems when they start to metastasize, allowing them to move through tissues. So understanding the sophisticated locomotion of white blood cells like these could help scientists stop cancers spreading around the body.